Hi friends, it's Stephanie. There's a lot going on in our world at the moment um, and today's discussion might be hard for some but it is an important discussion to be had. However, don't be afraid to pause the video or take a break from it. Today I'm going to be talking about privilege. What's privilege? Privilege is having access to certain things that other people do not normally have. So this can be a lot of things. A good way to understand this is by imagining privilege as a backpack. Peggy McIntosh came up with this idea of the invisible knapsack, aka backpack. Imagine you were giving a backpack based on who you are, not based on your personality, but on how you look like. What type of things, privileges, would be in your backpack? For me, I would have a white passing card. While I am not white, my skin is pretty fair to the point where people would not immediately know that my family is from Mexico. This means that I have a better chance of not getting stopped by the police because of the color of my skin. I have a college diploma, which is a privilege because a lot of people cannot afford that. This will give me access to well-paying jobs and other resources. I have a phone that lets me call my family when I need help money-wise. While a black person might not have any of those things in their backpack because of systematic racism. Systematic racism is years and years and years of bias, which is kind of like favoritism, rooted in our daily lives. So what this means is that I am getting a better backpack with more helpful things than others because of the way I look. This of course is not right. It's not fair at all. Everybody should be able to get the same backpack with the same great stuff inside of it. But it is not as easy as simply giving out backpacks with the same stuff. We, the people with better backpacks, have to put in the work to uplift others that are not given the same things. Remember that this favoritism has been going on for hundreds of years. So some families have been able to put all the great stuff they've been given from their backpacks together to live a great life and everyone should be able to live a great life that is why we need to work harder for the people that have not been getting the same great backpacks as others to make up for it when we see people getting badly treated because of the way they look we need to speak up and sometimes it is hard to notice when this is happening because it can look like a small thing if you're not part of a certain group having certain privileges Having certain things in our backpacks makes it hard to see how an action can be affecting a black person or a person of color. For example, making a joke about someone's hair might be seen as teasing, but it can be harmful given certain groups' hair history. Black people especially have and still are forced to change their natural hair if it does not fit a certain standard. I can walk into a professional setting without doing my hair and I will, for the most part, not be told anything. But if a black person walked into the same place without doing their hair, they will probably be seen as lazy and unhygienic. This is not right. This is not fair. We have to always be asking ourselves why we think, say, or do certain things and how these things are hurting other people, whether we mean to or not. It is a lot of work because without realizing it, we start to say, think, and do as those around us, which can help contribute to the systematic racism, to the favoritism that's been going on for years and years and years. Again, favoritism in this way is not fair and we need to work together to change that. When everyone speaks up together, more people will hear and it can help change the type of backpack everyone gets. So what's in your backpack and how can you help others with what's been given to you?